Hello, hello. I don't have a great connection out here, but hopefully be able to uh, to get a strong enough signal. Hi, Rosemary. It's asking me to invite you. I'm not sure what that means. Like I said, I'm I'm learning. But you are welcome to. Can you see me? I'm going to also log on and see what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh, good. Good, good, good. Okay. You can see me. Yay. Hi, Miss Rosemary Sunshine. I sure miss you. Oh. Well, do you all notice my fancy little uh, banner there where I have uh, figured out how to identify myself. Um, my daughter Jennifer said, you know, Mom, you need to let people know what's going on um, so they don't tune in thinking it's just a random video. So um, this past weekend, or I, in the last week or so, I found out about a new um, program that Facebook has, a new app. And I, I'm kind of excited because I've been playing around with it and I figured out how to use it. Hold on one minute, I'm going to turn my heater off. There, it's on low. It's um, it's still a little chilly out here, even though it did warm up substantially today. Um, it actually got above freezing, and it's raining now, which is washing away all the rain. So, I'm really happy about that. Um, thank you all for tuning in. I would love it if you would um, invite your friends, anybody that you think might be interested in. Um, just hearing a little bit about some thoughts I have on life. <laughs> I'll, I'll give people a couple more minutes to, uh, to find us. And um, then I will announce the winner of the profile picture survey. That was really interesting to see who picked which ones. And um, that, that was kind of a fun thing to do. So I appreciate everybody who... Uh, who participated and who gave me a vote? Um, I'm really attached to a couple of the of the versions of it, so um, but I don't want to be switching it around all the time. So I'm gonna go with the the winner, and we'll work with that for now, and then I'll work the other ones in various posts and things that I do. So well, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, da 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 da, -da drum roll. Um, Number one was the overwhelming winner, um, not two to one, but pretty close, um, and that's the current one that I have, the current profile picture. So I'm going to stick with that one for a while. Um, I may change it. Um, number three in the, uh, with the red, as my hand over my face, being mischievous, um, was the second choice. Um, so, and I'm really partial to both of those. I actually like all four of them. So it was, um, I appreciate people helping me decide so I didn't have to, um, be conflicted. Um, and like I said, that was fun. That was another thing I haven't used before on Facebook, um, was to take a poll and I didn't exactly set it up right. But one of the things that I'm doing in the new year is, um, what my, my coach and friend, John Eric Mosler, calls ready, fire, aim. And that is to just do it, you know, push the button, pull the trigger, just do it, and then figure it out as you go. And I think for me that's been um, a big deterrent a lot of times that I, I want to know everything. I want to have everything just perfect. Um, I want to know how everything's going to work, and I get concerned or maybe something will go wrong. And so sometimes it, it prevents me from doing some of the things that I really think would be fun to try. So um, you all are going to see me getting a little more adventurous in 2018 and trying, um, just playing around with some of these features and trying to do some things. Um, I'm working on building a brand since I have my new business now. Um, so I need to, and the brand is me, so I need to figure out how to make that work so that um, 
it'll be I'll be easily identifiable and so that people will think the things that I want them to think about me um, and one of those is that I want them to know that I'm adventurous and brave and I want that to be not to glorify myself or to say I'm so wonderful and brave but to encourage you to do the same thing maybe try something that you're not sure if you'd be good at it so you don't want to do it you know no matter what it is um, and I think you can miss out on an awful lot of, of great things in life if you wait for everything to be perfect and wait until you know everything and um, you know you have to just go for it um, just give it a try and um, you know a failure is only a failure if you don't learn from it, right? So, hi, Natalie. Hi, Nate. Thanks for tuning in. I, I, it's so great to see um, so many friends on tonight. Um, so, anyway, so that's one of the things. And like I um, indicated earlier in my post, um, I'm not going to do a full-blown, you know, words of wisdom, um, life lessons kind of thing like I had been doing tonight. I will normally do that. We'll have our regular kind of, have you ever thought about <laughs> kind of sessions um, moving forward. But I just wanted to um, to hop on. I wanted to um, let everybody know that, you know, we're back on Monday nights to set a date, set a reminder. Um, if there are topics that you want to talk about, send me um, a, a message and I would love to um, to talk about it with you. Um, I have a, enough crazy stuff going on in my life that I usually don't have any trouble thinking of something to talk about and to ask opinions about. But I, I want to make this not about me. I want to make it about my friends. So I hope you will do that. Um, the other thing I said I would talk about was my current work in progress. And you've maybe seen me post that I actually have several books kind of, I, I'm not going to say they're in progress, they're concepts right now. And in some cases, I, I do have some writing done on them, but um, they're not really the current works in progress. The, the main one, the reason that I joined the, the Dream Coach program that you've heard me talk about is um, the woman with the alabaster jar. And that is um, a follow-up to the one I did 10 years ago now. Um, I really let life get away from me, and I had always intended to do this next book. Um, I'm fascinated with the unnamed women in the Bible who were important enough, though, to the, the Bible, um, the people who wrote the books of the Bible and who, who shared the Gospels with us, that these, these women were in there. So there has to have been a significance to them. And I just really love exploring that. And I had kind of, I'd been working on it. I'd been trying to do my 30 minutes of writing every day, which is my main action throughout this program. Um, and it has certainly gotten to be a habit. But I had kind of gotten a little bit blocked, I guess. I, I was not, not wanting to work on it. And then something happened um, early in the weekend, um, a phone call from a friend about a situation that we had both been involved in a long time ago, but was one of the kind of precipitating factors that led me down the 10 years of not, um, not dreaming anymore and not believing in myself. And at first I was a little bit sad to have the conversation. I was because it was a hurtful situation, not with her, but we were both involved um, in the situation. And I had kind of stuffed it down and I didn't realize how much I had stuffed it down. And um, while we were talking, I started, you know, my voice started breaking and I kind of surprised myself with how emotional I had gotten. But after the call was over and as I reflected on it throughout the rest of the weekend, I realized that it was a huge breakthrough because that situation that I never fully resolved, I think is what was preventing me from fully embracing this project because the subtitle, uh, 
of the book is a life poured out. And I didn't want to pour out my life because I didn't want to open those old wounds and and I didn't want to go back and relive that pain. Um, but that was kind of out of my control and it happened um, outside of me. But the good thing that happened from it is that I am now falling in love with this book. And this book has become the woman with the alabaster jar. So she is now the book. And I'm really excited about that now. Um, I wrote a poem today. Um, things are starting to to really pick up now and, and my blood just, my heart just starts beating faster the more I think about it. So I'm really excited. Um, and you know, it, it's really kind of amazing how sometimes God uses other people in our lives to give us the push we need that we can't take ourselves. So that's my other words of wisdom for you all is um, when God sends someone in your life with a message, um, listen and think about it and um, be grateful that you're important enough to God that, that he arranged the situation for your benefit because he always does. So anyway, um, you can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait either, <laughs> Rosemary. Um, I, I'm a lot more hopeful that it's going to happen now um, after this. And like I said, I'm still processing all of the, the yuckiness um, of the situation, but I'm not blocked anymore. And um, I wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote in my journal um, after that. And I don't have answers but I have, I, I've resolved some things within myself. And um, it, it's the things that I needed to let go of and that I needed to claim. And now that I've done that, um, like I said, I, I've kind of fallen in love with my, uh, with my lady. Um, so that's really exciting to me. Um, this is my dream journal. I have everything in here from um, notes, poetry, um, random thoughts, uh, trainings that I've been watching uh, uh, during this uh, Dream Coach program, which is drawing to an end, and I'm really sad about that because I've just gotten so much out of it. Um, but I'm going to carry forward with the lessons that I've learned and uh, use them like as a springboard. So that's really all I've got to say tonight. I really appreciate you all hopping on. It's good to get back in the saddle. And um, I'm thinking that probably not this month, but starting in February on Tuesday nights, I'm going to um, do a live from my business page that has just business tips, um, not just for uh, people who... Uh, promote their businesses online, but it'll be kind of geared toward that. Um, a lot of the information is general enough that it can be used um, even for brick and mortar, but it's a lot of marketing things that I've picked up and um, a lot of, I have a couple of different subscriptions, um, email subscriptions that I get, plus the fantastic stuff that I get from the um, coaching program that I'm in. And I just really want to share that with people because, you know, there, there's plenty to go around. And um, I, I want all of us to succeed at what we're doing because I know that others um, pour themselves into their businesses just like I do. So I'd like to share some of what I've learned um, with others. And like I said, that'll probably be in February on Tuesday nights. So all of Monday nights and Tuesday nights, I'll be going live. Um, I'm going to be tweaking some things. I've um, contacted someone about doing a little fancy intro um, for the lives, but I don't know if I can do that with this <laughs> this app that I'm using that allowed me to do the name of the, uh, the Mary's um, Monday Musings banner. So, like I said, I'm still learning all that. I'm still learning a lot, um, but I'm liking getting kind of out of the holiday mode and, and back into um, getting on a good schedule 
and there's some big changes to come, so I hope you will stay tuned and have a good rest of your night and a great week. Thanks.